بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam advise us to follow the sunnah his sunnah salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi and the sunnah of the khulafa rashidin al-mahdiyin the rightly guided khalifa Abu Bakr Umar Uthman wa Ali radhi Allah ta'ala anam ajma'in however Khomeini and those who follow him and all the other imams of the Rafid, they advise us to follow other than them, to follow them instead of the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They call into question the belief in the Quran, in the, in the Quran's uh, perfection. They call into belief uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's judgment in choosing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They call into question Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator in the heavens and earth, the one who planned everything, the sustainer, the provider. His judgment in choosing the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, as companions. So we have to ask ourselves, do you follow? Do you follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? you follow those people who call into question the judgment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who lie about Abu Bakr and curse him, who lie about Uthman and curse him, who lie about Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in and curse them, make takfir of them call them innovators, call them disbelievers, but yet call the people to worship them and say that they are infallible. This is the state of the Rafida. It's not that we dislike them because of a particular country or because they're a particular social class or they're a particular race of people because you'll find Rafida amongst many different races. But we dislike them because of their creed, because they challenge the creed of Islam with falsehood. So in fact, maybe it's more appropriate to say that they don't challenge the creed of Islam, but they distort it, they innovate, and they practice kufr and heresy and lies. They lie on the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They lie about Allah. And they lie and claim that Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam delivered, made a mistake in delivering the message that it was really to Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een is how we understand the deen of Islam. It's how we understand this religion. It's from the Sahaba. It's what they transmitted. They were the narrators. They were the ones who uh, who were there when revelation was came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they were the ones who maintained the religion, compiled the Quran. Radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. So what have the Rafida done for Islam? Nothing but killing Ahl Sunnah. Nothing but lying and cheating Ahl Sunnah. Nothing but distorting the image of the religion of Islam. All throughout history, as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Akfur min Yahud wa Nasara. They have more disbelief than the Jews and the Christians. So how is it that a people like this can be successful? If they curse the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Radi Allahu ta'ala minchmaeen. How? And you have to ask yourself, who do you follow? Who do you trust? Do you trust the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he said, "Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al-Khulafa al-Rashidin al-Mahdiin"? 
Do you trust the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said, La tusubbu ashabi, do not curse my companions, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Or do you trust the people who practice things like taqiyya, lying, and they authenticate it, authenticate that practice, or legitimize that practice in accordance with their desires? And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.